Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Newcastle, Delaware, with the Long Island frauditor as he attempts to fraud it the local probation department, and, uh, well, ends up taking a massive walk of shame as he's kicked out of the building. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we're at the probation department here in Newcastle, Delaware. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. We have our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we, the people, record the government. Oh, come on now, Sean. Get a new freaking line right there. I mean, oh, it's always a problem when we record them. Uh, dude, you are the problem. You continuously go into unauthorized areas like correction facilities and everything like that just to stir up the pot. I mean, that's the whole point. Oh, by the way, I've uh, been watching your channel and I understand that you're trying to appeal the previous decision that the uh, courts came out with about recording in the New York uh, police stations. Well, dude, uh, judges are a bit more intelligent than you and they realize that this is a multifaceted kind of thing. So I really don't think they'll rule in your favor because they got to think about the victims, victims' rights, everything like that. I mean, it's just not all about you, buddy. Let me you can't record it, you have to step outside. Excuse me, sir? You cannot record on DOC property. You have to step outside. Who are you, sir? Officer Powell. Officer Powell? And, so I'm asking you to step outside. and what law would that be? It's a DOC private property. You cannot record. This is private property? It's DOC Who owns property. it? Who owns the property, sir? Sir, you have to leave. This isn't private property, sir. Sir, you have to leave. This is public property, sir. Uh, Sean, do you ever bother looking up anything about where you go into? Uh, the Delaware, uh, Department of Corrections does have a media relations department, and you have to go pay them a visit or somebody who can aid you in that. Not to mention that there's a clause that says reporters must have identification and must follow the rules of the correctional facility, which does inc include the probation office. Otherwise, you will not be welcome back. So my point here is that if you really were a reporter, you would know about this kind of thing and you would go to the proper people within their media department and ask for permission to do this. And then you could probably come up with some story about how they kicked you out or something like that. I mean, that's simple enough to do with uh, somebody who's as much of a fraud as you are. So you have to leave. So this is public property. You cannot property. on state property, DOC property. That's the what thing. law is that? It's not a law, it's a policy. You cannot record. It's a policy. Yes, sir. You can step outside and record. You just cannot record inside the building. Well, this is still a public building, public property. It's oh, publicly it's accessible. A, it's a correctional institution, which is a secure facility. Okay. There's nothing secure about it. We just I just walked right in. No, no. no that's There's okay. secure areas in this building, of course, sure. And I don't plan on going into any of those secure areas, sir. But you sir. cannot record in the building. Itself. But that's not a law, sir. Okay. Respectfully, that's not okay. a law. That's just a policy, What's sir. Oh, my name is Sean, sir. Sean what? Just Sean. Just Sean? Just Sean. Very nice, Yep, no problem. Hey, how are you? How are you guys doing? I'm good. What's up? You mind if I get your name? My name's Supervisor McCarran. And my name is Sean, sir. And your name, sir? Nice I'm Supervisor Dowling. Supervisor Dowling. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you guys. And what's your business here today? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video. I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story on the gotcha. Department of Corrections here. Gotcha. Do you have any kind of paperwork saying you could be on the property for doing that? Do I have any paperwork? Yep. Other than the United States Constitution. That doesn't apply here for this. We have our policy here. So I would like you to. The United States Constitution doesn't apply no, no, here? No, no. What you're trying to do does not apply to this. You cannot record here. We have a policy that says you cannot record in our building. And so that policy trumps the United States Constitution of Freedom of Press? Pardon me, officer, but 
you're talking to uh, Sean Paul Reyes of Long Island Audits. He has a bit of a simple mind and therefore doesn't understand the security nuances of filming with inside of any type of correctional facility whatsoever because nah, he's a simpleton. He doesn't understand any of that. All he understands is, well, I'm a journalist and therefore I get special rights and privileges above everybody else. No, that's not how it works and why don't you go ask your uh, buddy Chris Cordova how that's been working out for him because he certainly did get what he wanted. He got his name uh, in case law and uh, well, it's not helping your calls out that's that much is for sure. Now, in addition, this video is 45 minutes long. I am not going to subject you to all of that circular reasoning that will be guaranteed to be in this video. So we'll be jumping around a little bit. Our policy for this building, you're not allowed to be here in this building recording when you say you can't. So I'm going to ask you to remove yourself from the building, please. And you are Sir, I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not, you know, you're talking about your policy. I'm not breaking any laws. If you'd like, you can call law enforcement. Our it's our policy. If you'd like, no, you can call law enforcement so they can explain to you the law laws. Enforcement. You can remove yourself. But that's not against the law, no, no, no. sir. You're you the asked same, to call you're law the same guy that was at the at jail, right? Where? The women's prison. Oh, no, I never went there before. No, never. This is the first time I've been to a Delaware correctional facility here. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't there. Other than videotaping, you have no business. Well, yeah, I want to do a Freedom of Information Act request, but I'm just taking some picture and video right now, but I'll get to the Freedom of Information Act request when I get to it. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the signage here. Again, this is not a secure area I'm in or anything like that. It is state property. Well, oh, I understand that it's state property, definitely funded by taxpayers. I understand that. I get it. It's just I'm not in any secure or restricted areas, and your policy your policy doesn't apply to me. I'm not. I don't work here. <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Respectfully, I don't work here. I'm not bound by your policies. I'm bound by the law and the United States Constitution, which you said doesn't apply here for some reason. Uh, you're mistaken words, but, but as you said, we're not going to go back and forth. I don't this want is, to either. Right. Okay. So here's the thing. You have no other business other than being in the building. So if I decide to remove you from the building, then what? Well, if you physically put your hands on me and remove me from the building, mm -hmm. that would be a crime. Uh -huh. It would and be crime. Show me what crime, please. Well, you cannot put your hands no, on no, people no. that Show aren't. Me what crime, please. Yeah, that would be the crime of assault, yeah, and assault. that would be you assault. You from the building. You know, uh, Sean here is just going to use a lot of circular reasoning for the next 30 minutes or so. So let's just go ahead and jump to where the cops show up and they come up with a way to get him out of the building. Many, many minutes later. Hi ma'am, how are you? Nice to meet you. Who are you ma'am? Uh, my name is Laurie, but you can't be in here with a phone. So why would I? Right out here why wouldn't I be able to be out here with the, in no here with a phone? This, there's no cell phones in this building. You need to be out there. So there's people that come in here that don't get checked for phones. I'm, how many they people are in there? For phones. How would you know? How? Because I just saw a bunch of people walk in and you they didn't have, check them for phones, ma'am. And I'm sure that they. Yeah, Sean, you don't know the operations of this building. Uh, you are completely ignorant of the operations of this building. These are the people that know how this building operates, and they're trying to educate you on this, but your head is so far up to your ass that uh, you can't see the light of day. Fifteen minutes later. Hey, sir, how are you? Doing well, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. You mind if I get your name in bad number, sir? Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you, sir. So what can we do today? Oh, I'm, I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean. I'm just working on a story here on the Department of um, Corrections here. Okay. And uh, just staying in the publicly accessible areas. I'm not going to any restricted areas, any enclosed okay. areas. All right. Just getting some pictures, some B-roll footage, and that's it. Okay, sounds good to me. Can you just wait right here for a second? I want to talk to these gentlemen here. Oh, sure. You can go ahead and talk to them. That's fine. Right. I'm go ahead. talk to you over here, all right? Now, a little while later, the uh, corrections officer returns and... Uh, well, there's a very interesting solution to the problem at hand to getting him out of the building. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Many hours later. 
we're closing the building. The building is closed. Building now is closed. You're closing the building. I'm closing the building. Go okay, ahead. that's fine. You okay, can close you can leave now. You okay. can leave now. Relax. Sir, no, I'm sir, leaving. leave. If it's closed. It's closed. So officially. no one else is going to come in here. Sir, it's closed. I just want to make sure. The it's building closed. is closed. It's closed officially right now. You you have the authority to close the building? I have the authority to okay. close the building. That's not a problem. The building that's is fine. closed officially. So if anybody else comes in here, I'm going to come. Look, this guy's coming in here right now. It's not closed. He's coming in. You know, Sean, the more you talk, the more uh, you remind me of my uh, ex-roommate. You know, the one that I had right before the house burned down? Uh, you remind me so much of him. He was a blabbermouth, too, and incredibly stupid, too. Though he was the smartest man on the planet. All you had to do was ask him. But it's been almost a year since then, and this uh, smartest man on the planet, according to him, still hasn't exactly found himself a permanent home yet. Closed. We're closed. We're closed. Thank you for taking care of that. <laughs> you can officially leave now. All right. If you, uh, hey, listen, listen. I appreciate it. If you, if you, if you close, there's nothing else to discuss. Uh, I'll finish my statement. I'll save my statement. Can you please leave our building now? If you're closed, can you please that's fine. Can you please you're leave closed. our building? That's fine. Can you please that's leave fine. our building? I'll can be back. Don't leave worry. Building? I'll be back when you're open. I appreciate it. Thank you. When we open up, I'll see you again. But right now, the building's closed. Please leave our building. Okay. No problem. Thank you, sir. If it's closed, it's closed. Poor little Sean had to do the walk of shame in this one. He couldn't get his own way. They figured out how to get him out of the building. But yeah, I'm sure you'll be back. And I'm sure they'll own you once again. So in the meantime, enjoy your walk of shame. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?